Okay, we literally have walked 50 feet here. My cousin just nailed it right over here. Well, first off, he found a copper ring as soon as he walked away from the truck. And he pulled out a Drake Boss large set. I don't know how good that's coming out. This camera don't do close up very good. It's got good detail on the back. The front's a little, the head side's a little weak, but I can make out the 18. And then he's literally 20 feet away. I got my first find of the day. Nice little button. Okay, keep digging. Right there. Oh, what do you got? Sweet old buckle. Ornate buckle. Nice. No shank in the middle. No, but it's got uh, possibly. This has got a design around the outside. That's a nice buckle. Yeah. Damn. I've hit this. I've hit this area dozens of times. Well, we we, we got it up, we uh, got about three inches of rain and a couple days ago, and the stuff's just popping out of the ground. I thought I will set my detector off, but not the that thing. That is okay. unusual. My cousin's got a good find here. It's like iron on the back. The front's copper, and it's a heart. Don't know if it's some kind of a brooch. It almost looks like it was pin. I wonder if it was an old bridal uh, that could have been. decoration. That could have been. Missing the clasp on the back, maybe. That, that's a nice find right there. That... Okay, my cousin got another good find here. He already walked over and come back to check a hole for me and went back over and was checking out a previous dug hole. He's got a little, what you what do you call it? I think it's a ball button. Ain't ball it? button, yeah. Man, that thing's light. That's an awesome find. Still got the shank. Most of the buttons we're finding here still got the shank on them. Another good find. Keep digging. Okay, about a week ago I started digging a hole here. I chased a weak signal all around here and I just had my cousin check it out and I was right off. We got another button. A little bit of a dish to it. Shank's gone. There might be something on the back of it. I'll have to clean it up later. I don't know. I'm still getting a lot of iffy signals around here. See yeah. a lot of that. Those uh, oyster shells. Yeah. Them We're, people used to eat them. There's a cellar hole right there that my family was on the map of 1851. We're down from that old barn. We were digging all the good stuff on the other side there. We, we got on, my cousin got on the board with a I think it's an imperial button, shanks box, but we ain't finding much of anything down here, so anything counts. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, another 10 feet from that last button. My cousin scores another one. That one's got some age on it. There is a little bit of a shank there in the middle. Stay tuned. Okay, he actually had to go about 25 feet to find the next button. Man, that thing is thin. Shank's still on it, though. Flat and grayed out. Flattened out, but it's still got the shank. Man, we're finding another hot spot here. Okay, I was going to do a live dig, but we kind of didn't know. My cousin just got this. Can you see that? That's gold gilled on that baby. That's... I haven't even cleaned it yet. No, we ain't even brushed it off. Nice button. Green on one side, but... Oh, you got a pattern on there. We might be back. Okay, splash a little water on this. This is double gilt something. We can't quite make it out. But that's some gold right there. Gold gilt. Okay, I got a button now. It, it ain't been a minute since we pulled that gold one out. I got me a... It's got right none. Little it. dome one. Oop, now I lost that. Here. It's got right none. On the other side. See it says it? something on there. I'll clean it up, have it in the wrap up. Keep digging. Okay, I got one laying right here on top of the ground. I can't even. That's a gold guild watch key, I think. I'll have to clean it up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Pocket watch key. That is a beautiful find. It's got some weight to it. I don't know. We'll have to get that cleaned up and checked out. 
Uh, my cousin just come over to check out my thing. Little cufflink button or underwear button. Another nice little flat button. Man, we found a good hot spot here. Yeah, we'll be back. Yeah, I'm not giving up on this You're, you're probably going to stay right here. I'm yeah, going to call. I, ain't got I might to be go. back. Unless that lightning gets a whole lot closer, but it looks like it's going. See, we got this big storm rolling. Away. I'm swinging a big metal detector around in the air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like my cousin found himself an old Indian peace pipe. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I had a good signal here. And I just see it drop in the hole. I think I just found a large set. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one. I can read the back real good. It's a braided hair. Oops, sorry about that. I didn't mean to set you down here. Oh, nice. I could probably get a date off this. Sure can. I can read the date plain as day. 1818. That's a sweet coin. Okay, wrap up for today's hunts. You can see all my trash. This ain't even all of it. This is kind of a ornate piece. I don't know how well you can see that design. I don't know what this rock is. I found that. It almost looks like, uh, like it has barnacles or coral on it. I'm going to look into that a little more. Yeah, a piece of white quartz. A bunch of nails. Metal ring. A pair of pliers. Handle. This, I can't tell. It's a handle. I don't know if it's off a, like a pot that had wood in between here or just what that is. Then the good finds, 1941 wheat penny. This is a Imperial Standard flat button. Still got the shank on it. No design on the top that I can see. We got, I ain't cleaned that up enough to see if there's any writing on it. I don't think that one did. The shanks broke off that one. The shanks still had on this one, but it's flat. It, it says something. I'm going to have to soak that one a little bit to clean it up. You can see that's a dome button. Then the good finds. This, I don't know if it's just gold plated. It's got a lot of weight to it. But I believe that that was a key to a pocket watch. And on the inside here, around this ring, there's like a little lip around there like it might have had some kind of stone or set in that something set in that I don't know I'll look into that a little more I'm going to clean it up but it's definitely got gold gild on it at least like I say there's a lot of weight to that and then this one here you can make that out pretty good 1818 I think that's what they call a braided hair one cent that's in really good shape I'll soak that and clean it up. Maybe I'll have a picture at the end of a couple of these. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up.